This is a quick video on how to add different types of inventory items. We're going to look at two inventory items. Uh, the first is a simple fixed um, price item, and the other is a variable priced item. So from your dashboard, now you can also do this on your device. I like to use a dashboard because it's uh, got my keyboard, my mouse, a little easier. Uh, so if I go to the inventory tab on my dashboard, and in this case, I don't have any inventory listed. If I did, you would see it down below. But in every inventory tab, you'll see an add new item. So you simply click on add new item. And here you're going to give it a name. So in this case, we're going to call it test item fixed. You can have an alternate name, which is great if you want to search for different things. Uh, if you had another name that you wanted to call it by or something that's also known as uh, for staff to look up, um, they could search either term. In this case, we're also going to show in register. So that means we want it to show up on the screen. It is a revenue item, so we're going to leave it unchecked for non-revenue. We're going to set the price at $10, and we're going to leave the price as fixed. From here, you can also add stock quantity if you so choose, and you can also assign categories. Now, if you don't have any categories yet, you can go to the Categories tab and add them first, or you can actually add a category right from here. So I'm going to create a category called Test Items. Same with modifiers. Again, remember modifier groups are available on counter service, not on register light. Labels are great if you're having to track something uh, according to a particular revenue class, or if you have a kitchen printer set up or another printer set up where you need uh, that to go to. Taxes and flat fees. Here is where you can choose the different types of taxes. As you can see here, there's a bunch of different test taxes that we've set up. In this case, I'm going to choose no tax, or you can leave tax just completely off. Same thing as no tax. Product code is your barcode and your stock count unit code. So once I've got that item, I can hit save. And that item is now in my inventory. Now, in order to add the same thing, except that instead of a fixed price, I'm going to make it a variable item. Instead, what I do is instead of putting a price here, I simply change pricing type to variable. And again, I can have different stock quantities. And again, I can have categories, modifier groups, labels, taxes, etc. So when I hit save on this item, now what happens is when I choose this particular item on my Clover device and create an order, it will then, because it's set as a variable, will then ask me for a value. Whatever value I put in, that is the value that will be charged. So that's how you can add items, either fixed cost or variable cost, to your dashboard.